everyone for coming and and for uh, staying up later for me because it's early, very early for me in California. Um, so, uh, so, so today I wanted to run the first exercise session on hyperkähler manifolds. And before I uh, start, before we start doing the exercises, I just want to motivate why I wrote the exercises I did and and what uh, what I want you to get out of doing these exercises. Um, so let's start with maybe goal. Uh, so if you've uh, been to um, Professor Izadi's first lecture, uh, you you would maybe think like that there's a very differential geometric point of view from that lecture. Um, and I wanna do something sort of more orthogonal to that and go from a very algebra geometric point of view. And so my first goal is to like uh, think about, um, you know, algebra geometric motivations uh, for hyperkähler manifolds. And um, my second goal, and I think this is a good goal for any exercise session, is to get uh, get you ready uh, to dive into the literature. So um, I'm gonna drop uh, my exercise sheet in the chat right now. Um, okay, so it should be loading into the chat right now. And uh, if you click on it, there's two sections and there's a lot of problems within each section. Um, so, uh, so exercise one is about K3 surfaces. and their a geometry and topology. And so K3 surfaces are sort of the simplest example of hyperkähler manifolds, of, of compact hyperkähler manifolds. And it turns out, actually, this was somewhat surprising to me, but it turns out that if you just do this exercise and then you look at the further readings that I put, you will actually have all the material, like all of the background knowledge necessary to dive into this literature about the topology, uh, some Betty number calculations for hyperkähler manifolds. Um, and so I thought that was a pretty cool exercise to start with. And the second exercise is more challenging. I think it's quite fun. Um, so it's uh, that the theme of the exercise is given a KX trivial. Uh, manifold, so a uh, manifold with trivial canonical divisor, uh, how can you tell if it's a uh, hyperkähler? And in part of this exercise, uh, I'll introduce the, the theorem of Beauville, which is called the beauville bogomolov decomposition theorem. And um, that's a major theorem in the subject as kind of the starting point of the whole subject. Um, so maybe, Sorry, I have a yeah. question. Sh yeah, should sure. we assume that X is also Kähler and uh, yeah, yeah. assumptions? Yeah, yeah, sure. So I'm just gonna be vague here, but uh, you can assume it's Kähler. If you're more comfortable, you will lose basically nothing by assuming that everything is projective um, for these exercises. Um, and uh, yeah, so so the, the theme the theme of this exercise is how can I tell a given manifold uh, a Kähler manifold is hyperkähler. Um, and I will say that exercise two I think is 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 harder than exercise one, and I've my hints are maybe less detailed. That I I did that so that people who are more familiar with the subject could have a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, but of course feel free to ask me for more hints and I'll be uh, really happy to discuss all of the various exercises with you. Um, and in addition to the two exercises, I understand that many of you might have questions about the lectures, possibly. So I wanted to make a third uh, room for you to ask, to talk about what happened in the lectures. Um, and, and I'll be there too. Uh, and hopefully I can answer uh, some, some of those questions if you have. 
Um, so I'm going to make breakout rooms and I'll say I go to breakout room uh, room one for exercise one. Uh, same thing, two for exercise two. And uh, three for uh, lecture discussion. Uh, so let me make the rooms now. Okay, and they should be open and you should be able to select uh, the room. And I'm gonna send the file one more time just in case anyone came in after uh, the chat. Okay, so uh, please select your breakout rooms uh, and please let me know if you're having trouble doing that also. And I'll be cycling through the rooms, of course. Okay, I'm gonna head to the rooms. 